In this video, we venture deep back into the island of Ape Atoll to revisit the story that is Monkey Madness. Joined with us, we have mods Kieran, John C., Jed, and Ghost to take us through Old School's first ever quest. So, Old School's first ever quest, and we've got a big one for you. It's Monkey Madness 2. So we first announced Monkey Madness 2 at RuneFest last year, and the community's reaction was fantastic. We released a dev blog, and the excitement behind the quest and for the potential rewards has just been amazing. It did tremendously in the polls. So we really wanted our first quest to be a massive one, and Monkey Madness was one of the most popular quests ever. You always felt like you were in peril and danger, and the quest guide only went so far to help you complete it. So in Monkey Madness 1, you have this big massive cavern beneath Apatol, and through that you were constantly being attacked. There was rocks crumbling on your head, there was traps everywhere, skeletons that just respawn and respawn, and you really felt like it was dangerous. You, it was a struggle to get to the end of that cavern. And we want more experiences like that. And Monkey Madness 2 really brings that to the forefront. Monkey Madness was left wide open, clearly intended for a sequel. And it's been over a decade since that quest came out. What has Gluff been doing all that time? And in this quest, you're gonna find out. Monkey Madness 2 is our first quest for Ultra when it's a Grandmaster quest, and it's likely to be the only Grandmaster quest we're going to see for quite some time. The requirements for Monkey Madness 2 were the highest we've ever seen. 69 Slayer, 70 Crafting, 60 Hunter, they're the highest for that skill in any quest. We need to complete a ton of quests before we can even start Monkey Madness, and right now less than 5% of our members even meet all of the requirements. The rewards from Monkey Madness 2 are extensive. If you complete the quest, you'll have a whole load of new mobs to kill, and they drop lots of cool stuff. You can get the new Zenite gem, which makes new Zenite jewelry, which is best in slot for every class. We've got the ballistas, which are slow and heavy hitting, like Godsword equivalents for range, and we expect it to change the face of PK for pures. And there's a whole load more coming, but I'm not going to reveal it all. You're going to have to go and complete the quest to find out. When Jed and I started on this project, the only brief we really had was write a sequel to Monkey Madness. So we spent a lot of time in meeting rooms just hammering out ideas, writing story, coming up with you know, where we wanted to take it. And that was a couple of months ago, and seeing it sort of come to fruition and actually come to life, and now that the quest is being developed, being able to play through it, it's, it's been really fun. So I'm Mod Jed, I'm the newest member of the Old School team. I've been here for about six months now, and I feel that this is my chance to really prove myself as a content developer. Coming from the community as a player, I think the Monkey Madness is one of them quests that you find yourself doing time and time again on all your new account builds. It's one of the first quests that you rush out to get finished. And um, it's great to be working on the sequel to such an integral part of the game. As a PKer, I can't wait for the rewards that come from this quest. Uh, the Ballista in particular is going to be a great KO weapon. That being said, as a developer, this has been one of the most challenging projects so far for me, specifically cutscenes. They might be a few seconds in a quest, but they take days of development time trying to get the coordinates right for the camera movement and trying to get the turning at the right timings. If I had to compare Monkey Madness 2 to an existing quest, I would say something along the lines of Underground Pass just because of how um, memorable that quest is. Yet at the same time, I would say it's entirely unique in that it's taking you all over the game and putting you through new experiences, things you've not done before in a quest. I've seen a lot of people talking about the requirements of the quest, saying, oh, why is the agility and thieving? Why is that so low? My number one piece of advice to you when going to play this quest is train your agility and your thieving much higher than the requirement, because you're gonna need it if you wanna finish this quest in a couple of days rather than a couple of weeks. My main uh, starting point for inspiration from Monkey Madness 2 was uh, looking at Ape Atoll. Uh, so that just gives me an idea of uh, the colour palette that I want to use. So that's kind of jungle greens, aquatic blues, uh, muddy browns and sandy colours. And also the NPCs already created by Alfred as well. So uh, when I'm creating environments with those NPCs in, they help set the mood of the area. Um, I think there's certain technology in the plotline of the quest uh, which was very difficult to make um, feel old school because it kind of feels anachronistic in its design. Uh, so I had to look at areas like the Blast Furnace and also Dorgish Khan where there is certain technological advances which are used in the game uh, but at the same time they kind of have an oldie worldy feel. Uh, with the Blast Furnace it had this kind of stainless steel colour tone to it so taking the colour tones from the technology in Dorgish Khan and kind of amalgamating the two helped me to create a fresh look whilst at the same time keeping it quintessentially old school. 
The great thing about this piece of content is we've also got audio that's been specially written for it. So that means that I can listen to the audio whilst I'm building the environments. So there's a sense of cohesion between what you're hearing as well as what you're seeing. And it wouldn't be old school if the community didn't get involved uh, with the design of the project. So we've created a monkey backpack as requested by the community. Um, it was quite difficult to get the render ordering sorted on that, but we managed it in the end. And I look forward to seeing those that complete the quest running around with it in game. It's been a blast designing this quest, and you guys are really going to suffer trying to complete this one. So there you have it. Monkey Madness 2 will be live in game tomorrow, May the 5th, and we can't wait to see just how many of you are truly up to the challenge.